Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Tim Kintley Clay, the founder and CEO of Zooks. That's right, Zooks. And you're going to tell us what Zooks is. So Zooks is an amazing vehicle. It's an autonomous car. We've taken the driver out of the loop. So you can't actually drive it, you command it. You just tell it where you want to go and it takes you there. I was just at a robotics symposium with, and Chris Ermson, the Google car director, mm -hmm. was talking. And he said one of the questions that people ask the most is, why, if you have an autonomous vehicle, do you need a person in the front seat? Are you changing that architecture in this development? Yes, this is one of the reasons why I founded Zooks, because uh, trying to adapt autonomous technology to the conventional car is like trying to put the proverbial square peg in a round hole. It's the wrong way to go. Autonomous technology is so powerful that you are much better to take a blank sheet approach and say, what does this technology allow this car to become? And we believe we're creating a new category of mobility. This isn't the car, this is what comes after the car. The key part about the car here is quadrant design. So you can see here, we have 25% of the vehicle. That 25% is actually reflected three other times to create the entire vehicle. So what this means in terms of system architecture is in terms of designing the vehicle. If I move one node here, I see that in the real time, so it's faster to design. In terms of tooling and testing, it means that we only need to design 25% of the components to make 100% of the car. It also builds in redundancy. So in each quadrant of the car, we have independent motors, we have independent batteries, we have in independent processing. So if any one of that quadrant of the car was able to, was failed for some reason, the other three quadrants could still arrest the vehicle. It's like a 747 with four engines. So building in a very high level of redundancy is very important for system architecture. Yeah, so we're bringing community back to the car. We're getting rid of the dash. We're getting rid of the tractor controls, we're getting rid of the steering wheel which is lethal in an accident, we're giving people a much more first class or business class flight experience where they're freed up ergonomically to relax, to recline, to enjoy their commute so even if they're in gridlock rather than being frustrated, they're enjoying their experience, they're on the internet, they're watching a movie, they're talking to family and friends. There will be seatbelts, the vehicle will have internal airbags, importantly the vehicle we'd like to think we could develop with what we'd call external airbags. One of the advantages of an autonomous system is if it is, for example, parked at a traffic light and it's going to get rear-ended, it will know it's going to get rear-ended. So why wait for the impact to then deploy an airbag? Why not deploy an external airbag which will mitigate that, dim that damage? It's a classic case of a stitch in time, safe now. Have you talked to any OEMs about this? I actually shared this uh, design vision with uh, Anthony Lewandowski at Google and he very kindly asked me over and. I did a chat to the team which was pretty amazing and went for a drive in the G Cruiser and uh, it was really good to see that those guys were very curious and interested in my designs and get some validation out of them. All right, we're going to look for this coming out in the future. Uh, I, I, I look forward to bringing it to you. Great, thank you Tim. Cheers.